In this video, we're going to be working with wood glue. What are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be cleaning vinyl records. Really? All right, we're going to do it right now. So we're going to do something a little different today. Over the past decade or so, I've been using wood glue like every other day. And over the past 20 years, I've been collecting, buying, and selling records. And I came across a video where somebody used wood glue to clean their records, and I was blown away. I never even thought of doing that. So why would it work if it does work? Well, what I'm guessing is you layer this up with wood glue, you let it dry, and the wood glue adheres to all the little dust particles that are in the grooves of the record, and it takes them out, and you get a cleaner sounding record. I just thought the video and the concept was really cool, and I wanted to try it and put my own spin on it. Huh? All bad jokes aside, what we have here is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Um, you can tell this is a little dirty. And uh, the plan is I'm going to play this record as is, all dusty and dirty. It's going to go through this mixer, and then it's going to go to this digital recorder. And I'm going to, through the magic of editing, pump this into the video so you can hear the before. And then we're gonna load this up with glue and we're gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna peel the glue off. And then we're gonna play this afterwards. Goes through the mixer, goes to this. Through the magic of video editing, I'll pump it into the video and you can hear the before and after to see if it really does work. So first thing we're gonna do is start this up. And I'm going to record here. So that's recording. I'm going to take this and start the record. Okay, so you heard the before, and I'll play the before and after back to back afterwards. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start this, and then I'm gonna take my glue. I'm gonna glue this. This is so weird. <laughs> Hope it works. Just gonna be careful. Obviously never done this before, so we'll see what happens. I'd be careful doing this with a record player that you really care about. This one's really old, and if anything happens to it, I'm not too concerned with it. Also, do not get glue on the label, because that would be bad news. Um, so I'm going to take a little piece of cardboard and just try and spread this glue out. All right, covered up. So we're gonna let that sit overnight and however long it takes to dry, I'm gonna make sure it's plenty dry before I try and peel it. All right, it's been 24 hours. I know it looks like there's nothing on here, but when you look closely, the glue dried, that's the regular side, the glue dried up and now I'm gonna peel it off. So, I just got to start the edge carefully. And the thought of this is that the glue is going to peel up all the dust that's in those grooves. Here we go. I have some clean sounding Beethoven.
a little shock there. That was oddly satisfying. Look at that. You can kind of see the, <laughs> the grooves and everything, all the tracks. Very cool. So, I got a little bit of, oh, it's all staticky now. It's weird. I got a little glue here. Where it went on kind of uneven. That's it. Pretty much all cleaned up. Okay, here we go. The glued record. You know, push record. And then play this record. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Can you hear a difference? Let me know in the comments. And I know this video is different from what I usually do, but uh, if you liked it, give a like down here. And if you want to see me do more stuff like this, then let me know. And if you want to see my other stuff, my home repair stuff, you can click here and here-ish and check that out. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. So I wonder what would happen if we took the glue and tried to play it. Whoa. No way. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. That is awesome.